Chapter 521, Lu Xu's Autobiography Honestly speaking, even Lu Xu had not expected his newborn sword spirit to be this naughty. And Takashima too had never foreseen its unique attacking tactics. By right, shouldn't a spirit born from a flying dagger be more aggressive? What's wrong with you, using that slap? Yet, precisely due to the same reason, Takashima was distracted for a split second, which led to his defeat. It was also because he had yet to recover his full strength after countering Coral's harsh blow. In addition, Lu Xu's ability to breach so many layers of blood formation protection through his powerful sword energy was also beyond Takashima's imagination. This time, both Coral and Lu Xu should receive the credits for Takashima's death. And during the battle, Lu Xu had unleashed incredible power, far surpassing that of many Class Bs at the instant his Sea of Qi was opened. Then, Lu Xu watched with his own eyes as the sword spirit returned to Corpse Dog triumphantly after the slap. Wow, how damned naughty. A tinge of distress crossed Lu Xu's heart. It seemed that his swordplay skills were going in the wrong direction. Other people could summon tens of thousands of sharp blades upon chanting, Come, my swords. That was just super awesome. How about him? What should he say? Go and slap that dude. Screw it. The sword spirit was around two palms in size. Lu Xu had to investigate further on its other functions. But judging from the slap earlier, it seemed to have a strong hand. With Takashima in his pseudo class estate, how hard must the slap have been to make him pause in shock? Regardless, Lu Xu thought the Japan trip was worth the effort. In addition to his personal gains of close to a hundred thousand magical stones, the collection of gods had suffered severe consequences, losing more than half of its elite powers. In other words, the collection of gods would have to exit from the global limelight until the emergence of a new power. It would plunge from one of the top practitioners' organizations to a second-class nobody. They would not even have been able to stay in the second class if not for the survival of the other class sea masters. Roughly speaking, there had been an acceleration in the rate of advancement in the past six months due to the intensified regeneration of spirit chi. But there were only about five to six class Cs remaining in the collection of gods. Perhaps Lu Xu, in his optimal state, would even be able to overpower them altogether. In fact, the causality therein was strange. If the collection of gods had not decided to go against the heavenly network, Nojua Takenobu would not have been killed in the Kochang remains back then. Thus, there would have been no arrest warrant for Lu Xu as issued by Nojua Hakushun, which would have prevented Lu Xu from entering Japan. Further, Coral would not have been so persistent in avenging Lu Xu, which would not have resulted in Lu Xu being trapped in the fortress. In the alternate reality, Lu Xu might have already been swimming across the sea with his magical stones by now. Most importantly, it was totally unexpected that Lu Xu had succeeded in preventing Takashima's advancement to Class A, and equally unpredicted was the opening of his Sea of Qi at that moment. Currently, the sword energy was undergoing restoration inside Lu Xu's Qi Mountain. He had depleted over 100 beams of sword energy in the last battle, and it would take around three days to replenish it all. The sword energy seemed to be the basic form of swords after his a years of Qi Mountain scraping. Meanwhile, the prototype swords in the Sea of Qi was the upper limit of his sword energy, and time was needed for the prototypes to regenerate a new wave of sword energy in replacement of the used ones. In other words, there were only about 100 prototypes in Lu Xu's Sea of Qi at the moment. Thus, the maximum capacity for his sword energy was around 100 beams too. The number of prototypes would increase with further scraping of the Qi Mountain. The reason for his small amount of prototypes gained even after the flattening of the entire mountain was that his mountain had stopped growing due to his lack of practice. Take for instance, Li Xianyi's Qi Mountain was much loftier than Lu Xu's. Besides, the old man scraped his mountain from any angle as he pleased, while Lu Xu aimed exactly at one side. They had differing aims. Lu Xu found it understandable, though. Swordsmen and swordswomen would have been the most formidable practitioners in the world if their sword energy were boundless. 
for in that case, they would have no weakness at all. On the other hand, Lu Xu was unsure whether he could be considered as a class B, strictly speaking. Probably yes, as his strength and speed in the past were both comparable to those of class Bs. His only weakness lied in the attacking power and the diversity of his attacking techniques. Now, things had changed. With over 100 beams of sword energy, he was able to fight with any class B in the world head-on. Certainly, it would have been even better with the unlocking of his third nebula. In that case, even his strength and speed would be further improved as well. But... Lu Xu suddenly learned a terrifying truth. His Qi Mountain was gone. Gone. How could he expand his prototypes by scraping a non-existent mountain? Lu Xu was concerned about another question. If there was one sword spirit in every Qi Mountain, by right, the true descendants of the Hall of Swords would need only one of them. But that was clearly insufficient for Lu Xu. He had no idea whether the Qi Mountain would rise again. If it did, would there be another sword spirit with the collapse of the new mountain? It would be interesting if there was. In Lu Xu's twilight years, he could write an autobiography titled, Lu Xu and His Seven Dwarfs. It sounded good. Now, the Hall of Swords had been labeled as the least reliable organization in Lu Xu's heart. At the moment, Lu Xu felt sorry for the great losses to the collection of God's population. Be it due to Takashima's sacrificial ritual or Coral's rage, too many were dead. When those people were engaged in fights or the ceremony, how would they have the time to contribute distress points to Lu Xu? Besides, Coral had replaced Lu Xu to become the target of public hatred with her invasion into the collection of gods. In comparison, the destruction of the collection of God's mansion and the murder of Kitamura Kijitori had undoubtedly provoked much more distress than drawing weird symbols and killing Hakushun and Hirono. Thus, Lu Xu was remorseful for the waste of the huge amounts of distress points, for he needed a whopping 2,700,000 points to open his third nebula. At the moment, Lu Xu was still unable to move. Takashima's power gained from the ritual was far too immense, which inflicted great harm to Lu Xu during their confrontation earlier. Lu Xu was anxious. What if he had been handicapped by the injuries? He could almost hear the approaching footsteps from other practitioners scattered across Japan. They must be arranging their manpower right now. By then, even with the opening of his Sea of Qi, Lu Xu would not be able to defend against thousands of low-level practitioners given his current state. He must find a hiding place to rest. Dying in the collection of God's encirclement was the last thing he wished for. Chapter 522, Bringing Lu Xiu Home At this moment, Lu Xu turned to see Coral stand up, she struggled to keep herself up. Her delicate face was covered in dust, and traces of dried blood remained on her body. No matter how painful it was, she must stand up again. Then, slowly, she moved towards Lu Xu and collapsed beside him. Coral rested her head on Lu Xu's chest, her white golden hair spread across his chest. She murmured, Thank God. You are alive. The godslayer Coral just a moment ago was now a fragile little girl. She continued. I'd been writing letters on my way home, planning to mail all of them to you once I reached back. Then, I heard the heartbreaking news about you. Luckily, I came here. And what a blessing that you are all right. They didn't let me come. But I thought there would be no reason to live on if I did not avenge you. Now, I am the master of gods of the deities. Even father has no control over me. Coral said everything in one shot. She had no intention to inquire about the reason for Lu Xu's fake death. The only thing that mattered to her was that Lu Xu was safe and sound. Lu Xu drew a deep breath. It's quite painful that you are pressing against my chest. From Coral Odin Johnson's distress, plus 79. Now, all of Lu Xu's bones were fractured, and there were serious lesions on his internal organs and muscles. Thus, it indeed damned hurt when Coral laid her head on his chest. The tinge of romance in the atmosphere immediately evaporated. Lu Xu was good at it. 
but Coral did not generate many distress points. Struggling to support her upper body, Coral said, I will send you the check once I get back. Lu Xu paused for two seconds and replied, well, it's not that painful anymore. Coral chuckled. Her face was dirty. Perhaps strangers would never associate her with the master of gods of the deities seeing her in her current state. Then, she stood up with much difficulty and, clenching her teeth, carried Lu Xu on her back. Coral was tall with the commendable height of 170 centimeters. But it was slightly awkward for her to carry Lu Xu, given Lu Xu's sturdy build. Lu Xu was stunned. Are you sure? You can let me down. This is not rejection. I'm just afraid your body cannot withstand any more weight. He was pondering about possible ways to recover quickly, or to go all out against the remaining forces of the collection of gods. But never had he expected to be carried away by Coral, whose conditions were no better than his. Lu Xu felt sorry for her as she struggled to move forward. Then, for some reason, a sense of security wrapped around him. This girl seemed to be worthy of his trust. The world itself was a cold and apathetic place. Thus, the trust and mutual dependence shared between Lu Xiaoyu and himself was all the more precious. But at this very moment, another person appeared. From the bottom of her heart, she was willing to help him, regardless of her own safety, personal interest, or costs. Lu Xu was unprepared for this. But Coral did not respond to his question. She clamped her jaws and moved forward slowly. Then, she smiled. Don't worry. My injuries are much better than yours. That was followed by a long silence. Lu Xu knew that he could not persuade her out of her determination. Suddenly he requested, please stop. I know this may be too much, but please bring me back to that man. Please. Lu Xu felt guilty because Coral's wounds were so serious that she could not even walk properly. But there was something he must do before he left. Coral turned to see a man leaning against his katana. Even after his death, Coral could feel the imposing spirit of boldness in him. His body was stabbed by three katanas, but he remained standing amidst piles of bodies. Coral had no objection. She would do anything that Lu Xu felt was right. Out of curiosity, she asked, who's he? Lu Xu smiled. Probably, my comrade in arms. Perhaps you don't know the word a Tong Pao Wan, but he died for me. He said, Tong Pao, in Chinese. Lu Xu might not even have had the chance to open his sea of qi if not for Lu Xiu's selfless sacrifice for him. And his last words about being comrades in the next life had been ingrained in Lu Xu's mind. Coral carried Lu Xu to Lu Xiu's side. With difficulty, Lu Xu put Lu Xiu's body in his seal of lands. There, Lu Xiu stood silently, as if he would stand there for an eternity. Why did you? Lu Xu smiled. I'm taking him home. Coral carried Lu Xu towards the outside. After a long moment, she grinned. Lu Xu, please stay with me for the rest of our lives. If you say no, I will wait till you agree. If not, I will think of other ways. But there was no response. Coral tilted her head to see Lu Xu's head resting on her shoulder. He was fast asleep due to exhaustion. He had given it all he had for the battle. Hence, he was unable to stay awake any longer when he felt that sense of security. Just a few hours ago, the collection of God's fortress was bustling with human activity. But now, all that was left was countless corpses and scenes of misery and suffering. Blood dried up quickly in the air, and its scarlet color soon turned into an abhorrent purple-black. Coral took every step carefully as she walked on the debris so as not to wake Lu Xu up. She was tired too. But Coral knew that her injuries were nothing compared to Lu Xu's. When she finally walked out of the hellish shadow that shrouded the fortress, Coral relished the orange-red glow of the setting sun. The sky was as beautiful as a work of art, and the clouds were picturesque. Coral's spirit was lifted. To Lu Xu, he might have many gains from this trip, but to Coral, 
There was only one thing worth mentioning and that was Lu Xu being alive. Suddenly, Coral's body froze. She was alerted by the appearance of a young lady from a blind spot behind the debris. This was not a coincidence. Besides, even her clothes looked like a precious magical weapon. Murderous intentions were lurking in the pink sakuras on her kimono. There was a short sword in her hand. It seemed that she had been waiting for a long time. Against the glow of the sunset, her sakuras were exceptionally splendid and captivating. Coral's brain was spinning fast for a solution. In front of Lu Xu, she was a little girl that always needed protection. But in the face of others, she was the master of gods in the deities. Chapter 523, Bringing Lu Xu Home Before she had advanced to Class B, Coral was a mid-tier Class D with impressive power. The young girl did not wait for Coral to finish thinking. She suddenly spoke in English. All those left of the collection of gods have gone to Nishinokyo. You cannot escape by the normal route, especially with your injuries. Follow me. Coral stood still. She did not know who this girl was, let alone dare to trust her. The young girl turned her head to look at Coral. I am Sakurai Yeko. You can call me Sakurai, the guy on your back. Is that Lu Shukuin? This was Sakurai's first time seeing Lu Shu's actual appearance with her own two eyes. The delicate and pretty face was fast asleep. For some reason, Sakurai felt that Lu Xu's original appearance was much better than that of Kurahara Yusuks. Coral did not trust Sakurai, but looking at the expression in her eyes, her female instincts made her smile. Lead the way. I'll follow you. She felt that she had seen the shadows in her own eyes. Coral understood that Sakurai would not do anything that would hurt Lu Xu. Yeko drove here, her car was hidden by the road. Coral lightly lay Lu Xu on the back seat. His legs had to be bent because he was too tall. Sakurai silently concentrated on Coral taking care of Lu Xu. She had to admit that Coral was prettier than her. Coral's ability level was also much higher than hers. She had the power to single-handedly eliminate Kitamura at Nishinokyo, and to defeat two families in hiding, this was not something that anyone could do. Coral was also the master of gods of the deities. The difference between their position and influence was far too great. But most importantly, she could feel the purity of Coral's adoration towards Lu Xu. It was so pure that it hurt. Sakurai may have found the reason why Lu Xu did not succumb to her temptation. This feeling was very contradictory. Yeko sat in the driver's seat, while Coral sat in the passenger seat. Sakurai suddenly asked, Are you and Lu Xu? Before waiting for Sakurai to finish, Coral replied with urgency and certainty, Lovers. As she finished speaking, she took a sideway glance at Lu Xu, who was still sleeping soundly. She was only relieved after checking that Lu Xu did not hear what she had said. Coral always had a guilty conscience when she said this, she knew that Lu Xu's feelings were not on the same level as hers. Sakurai stopped talking. Hugging herself with delight, Coral asked, Are you a member of the Collection of Gods? Yes, said Sakurai. How do you know Lu Xu? Coral was somewhat curious. Sakurai had nothing to hide. She explained the story of how Lu Xu disguised himself as Kirihara Yusuk. Although Coral was very tired, she took a lot of interest in listening to Sakurai's story. So Lu Xu had done so many things after coming to Japan. Coral asked, now that the collection of gods is in decline, what are your plans from now on? For some reason, Sakurai had nothing to hide. I want to stay behind and reorganize the collection of gods. Sakurai did not know why she had made such a decision. It was very risky, yet there seemed to be a reason for doing so. The Class Bs in the Collection of Gods had been eliminated. Even the Class Cs had suffered heavy losses. Sakurai thought about those families in hiding. Although this was a very difficult task, but it was not impossible. 
she wanted to try using the resources and inheritance from the conservative Oda Takuma that were now in her hands. Someone suddenly fell from the sky and landed in front of the car. Her black coat fluttered in the cold January wind. Coral closed her mouth. She definitely knew who this person was. Sakurai did as well. Nyating calmly said, please hand Lu Xu over to me. Coral and Sakurai did not expect that Lu Xu could trouble the legendary top expert in the East to come and fetch him personally. The current situation in the Heavenly Network was not very stable either. Many people from the large organizations hid in the neighboring countries and were held back by him, as they glared like a tiger eyeing its prey. Despite this, Nye Ting still came. In reality, Nye Ting departed from the capital as soon as he heard that Takashima was preparing for the sacrificial ritual. In order to rapidly advance to Class A, he had come as quickly as he could. But he did not expect everything to already be over before he had arrived. According to his calculations, Lu Xu should have been in great danger. This sort of danger was beyond what Lu Xu could handle. That was the reason why Nye Ting had rushed over. But Nye Ting could not understand how the battle had completely ended the moment he rushed over. He had just come from the fortress. When he saw the interior of the fortress, it was very difficult for him to make an accurate deduction over what had happened. Did Lu Xu kill Takashima? Why were there sword marks along the walls of the fortress? Not only that, Nye Ting felt more clearly than Takashima. He was very sure that within a three-kilometer radius, there had been the sound of Tao, as well as heaven and earth resonating. They had still not completely disappeared. He had once focused his attention on this young man, who was previously selling stinky tofu. How did he progress to where he was today? It was not difficult for Nye Ting to link sword marks and the sound of the Tao to Lu Xu. Nye Ting had even guessed that these sword marks had came from Li Xianyi, from this Nye Ting could understand how Lu Xu inherited these. Nye Ting suddenly asked, was it you guys who killed Takashima? Coral and Sakurai surprisingly answered in sync. I don't know. The two of them knew that Lu Xu was hiding a secret. Coral knew a bit more, and Sakurai knew a bit less. But the two of them had decided to keep their mouths shut, as Lu Xu was still unconscious, even if Nye Ting was Lu Xu's superior. Nye Ting laughed. Okay. I will bring Lu Xu away. You can leave by yourselves. Without further ado, Nye Ting walked to the side of the car. He placed his slender index finger on Lu Xu's neck and checked for his pulse. After confirming that he had no problems, Nye Ting carried Lu Xu on his shoulder, ready to soar into the sky. Coral suddenly said, I, on behalf of the deities, would like to be allies with the Heavenly Network. Heavenly King Nye, what do you think? Nye Ting looked at her calmly. I can send Lu Xu to discuss this with you. From now on, he will be in charge of the Heavenly Network's external relations. Coral was pleasantly surprised. Really? Yes. Nye Ting was a smart person. He knew that 80% of the reason why Coral had come to Japan was because of Lu Xu. But he was not sure of the relationship between Lu Xu and Coral. There was nothing in his information that mentioned this. But no matter what, since Lu Xu would be in charge of overseas affairs from now on, it was only right for him to settle these kind of things. Coral asked, where are you bringing Lu Xu to? I'm bringing him home, Nye Ting said solemnly. Coral was dumbfounded. Just now, when Lu Xu was helping Lu Xiu to reduce the number of corpses, he had used the same phrase. Nye Ting had used the same phrase as he brought Nye Ting away. It was as if that simple phrase had a boundless charm that attracted her. Chapter 524 The Journey Has Been Well Worthwhile why have you personally come here? Are the two of you a comrades? Coral's pronunciation of the word comrade was awkward, but she had remembered it after Lu Xu had told her once. Nye Ting was dumbfounded. Did Lu Xu teach you this word? I don't know. Nye Ting was silent. From Nye Ting's distress, plus 199. Nye Ting was somewhat puzzled. 
How did Lu Xu make the leader of the deities so confused? It was fine if someone else replied, I don't know, to his question, but even she replied, I don't know. But he clearly knew that the word comrade must have come out of Lu Xu's mouth. He had once wished that Lu Xu showed more attachment to the heavenly network. He had constantly felt that Lu Xu had constantly strove to drift away from this organization. If Lu Xu himself had said the word comrade, it would make Nye Ting very pleasantly surprised. On the other hand, Coral kept the fact that she was involved with Lu Xu a secret, lest she let her tongue slip. Nye Ting laughed and did not speak. He no longer hesitated. Carrying Lu Xu on his shoulders, he soared up high and flew back to his country. Three days later, in the Luhai Lane courtyard house, Lu Xu awoke in a guest room. In his alertness, he had realized that all the injuries on his body had healed. A refreshing scent filled the room. It smelled like herbal medicine, but Lu Xu had never smelled anything like it. He lifted up his blanket and realized that the courtyard outside was an expanse of white snow. The outside was cold and snowy, but the inside was warm and dry thanks to the fire of a stove. Even a dry mattress could make one happy and free from worry. Large snowflakes fell from the sky. The snowflakes were light and graceful. The wind blew the snow into the courtyard. Sometimes the snow did not simply fall from the sky, there were times it rotated within the courtyard. He did not know what had happened to him after the affairs in the fortress. After he had become unconscious, he found himself here. But looking at the characteristics of the building, it became clear to him that he had returned back to his country. Although he did not know exactly where he was, but thinking about how he had returned back home put his mind at rest. Just as Lu Xu had finished changing his clothes, Chir Xuejin brought in a bowl of medicinal soup. The snowy wind blew in as the door opened. When Shi Xuejin saw that Lu Xu was awake, he became happy. You're finally awake. Hurry and drink this medicine that I have prepared for you. Shi Xuejin walked out once he had finished speaking, leaving Lu Xu dumbfounded. What was happening? Why was Shi Xuejin here the moment he opened his eyes? Besides, Shi Xuejin, a heavenly king, was taking care of him? He was too down to earth. Before Lu Xu could recover from his shock, Shi Xuejin walked in with a bowl of millet gruel in his left hand and a bowl of sauce in his right. There was also a green onion pancake under his arm. Come, come. Eat it while it's hot. Shi Xuejin laughed. Lu Xu's face darkened. Eat the green onion pancake while it's hot. Ha! Ha! Shi Xuejin was not in the slightest embarrassed. He got straight to the point. Nye Ting will be back soon. He was the one who brought you back from Japan. Once he comes back, he has something quite important to talk about with you. Oh. Lu Xu drank a mouth of the millet gruel. He was not used to eating the green onion pancake, so he simply left it there. Shi Xuejin looked at him from the side. Thank you for your hard work on this trip to Japan. You have helped us, the Heavenly Network, solve a big problem. Although this did not settle the matter once and for all, but it would be hard for them to fight back. Lu Xu was suddenly aware that Shi Xuejin's tone was unusually natural as he spoke. It was as if he was talking to someone of the same level as he was. But he did not continue the conversation. Lu Xu felt that Shi Xuejin was trying to probe his every action. He shook his head and said, I didn't do much. What happened at the collection of gods? I lost consciousness, so I'm not too sure what had happened. But in reality, he knew the details of the incident. Other than Coral, everyone else had died. He could make up the entire story from his mouth. If he said that Takashima had committed suicide, then Takashima had indeed committed suicide. But Lu Xu observed Shi Xuejin's expression as he slurped the millet gruel. He was worried that Coral had easily let the cat out of the bag. He observed for a long time, but realized that there were no abnormalities in Shi Xuejin's expression. Nye Ting suddenly pushed the door open and entered. 
he sat opposite Lu Xu and pushed a palm-sized box towards him. Then, he turned his head and asked Shi Xuejin, Do you still have any more millet gruel? Yes. I'll get some for you. Shi Xuejin smiled and left. Mia Ting's expression was calm. He pushed the unwanted green onion pancake to the side and said, Inside the box is your medal for military merit from the Heavenly Network. But I reckon that you are not particularly concerned about this. There is also your new certificate inside the box. Congratulations, you have been promoted to captain. But due to special circumstances, we will not be holding a ceremony to confer your new rank. Just know it in your heart. If you want to tell others, go ahead and if you don't want to, it's fine too. Lu Xu opened the box and took a look inside. Being promoted was a good thing, his wage was higher too. But Lu Xu did not speak. He was aware that Nye Ting had other, more important things to say. Nye Ting calmly said, Are you a class B now? No, I'm not, Lu Xu seriously said. I'm still a class C. Was it you who killed Takashima? Nye Ting was excited as he asked this question, as he was very curious about Lu Xu's current strength. It wasn't me. Heavenly King Nye, you've got it wrong. Lu Xu continued to deny. Nye Ting did not express his opinion on Lu Xu's words. Lu Xu did not know whether Nye Ting believed him or not. But these questions were not important, Nye Ting did not wish to go deep into this matter now. Shi Xue Jin carried a bowl of millet gruel and walked in. Nye Ting took the bowl and finished it in one mouthful. He then asked, Did you get anything from this trip to the collection of gods? When Lu Xu was asked this question, he instantly became alert. He thought seriously about it for a full 30 seconds before answering, Yes. Nye Ting was slightly surprised. Earlier when he had observed the blood formation in the fortress, the number of magical stones in the formation did not match with the information given by the heavenly network. Thus, Nye Ting had also thought about where the magical stones had gone. He was very clear that the magical stones had all been transported into the fortress. But there was nothing in the fortress. Could it be that Lu Xu had taken them away? Nye Ting asked calmly, What did you get? Lu Xu took out the half a piece of magical stone from his pocket. Kawayoshi had absorbed part of this magical stone earlier. His expression was solemn. I got this from Takashima's hands after a lot of difficulty. One could say that the journey has been well worthwhile. Nye Ting looked at the magical stone in his hand, which had been partially absorbed of its spirit chi. He was dumbfounded. From Nye Ting's distress, plus 666. He had gone all the way to the collection of gods, yet all he got was half a piece of magical stone? And here you are saying that the journey has been well worth it? Is that solemn look on your face real? Lu Xu also felt sorry. At first, he had vowed that he would hand over a hundred magical stones. But in the end he was not willing to do so. Furthermore, if he had handed over the magical stones, how would he explain himself? The case of the Seal of Lands would be exposed. Chapter 525 The New Heavenly King Nye Ting remained quiet for a long time, holding the half-magical stone in his hand. He was trying to resist the urge to crush the stone and then crush Lu Xu. The world must be a joke if Lu Xu was honest about saying that the half-stone was all he got. Nye Ting stuffed the stone into Shi Xue Jin's hands and said calmly, Store it. Shi Xue Jin was dumbstruck. Neither of you are sane. Nye Ting suddenly turned to Lu Xu and demanded, Do you have invisible storage equipment? He certainly would not by Lu Xu's explanation. Every piece of information of his pointed to the fact that Lu Xu was a true miser. However the reality was, there was indeed nothing hidden in Lu Xu's pockets. Actually, out of the respect to his subordinate comrade, Nye Ting did not search Lu Xu's body even when he was unconscious. But the question was, where was his divine water? Even if he could condense it into wearable armor, 
It would be nonsense to claim that Nia Ting had failed to notice its existence throughout the entire flight. Besides, Nia Ting saw broken spears inside the fortress with his own eyes. There were at least twelve broken spear heads. Thus, how did Lu Xu enter the place with a bundle of spears? That was definitely not mentioned in the intelligence report. Therefore, Nia Ting was suspicious that those lost magical stones were still in Lu Xu's possession. He had no intention to confiscate them, yet he was simply curious. Lu Xu shook his head in denial. Nope. What is invisible storage equipment? Nia Ting stared into Lu Xu's eyes, emotionless. Then, Lu Xu suddenly gave a slap to his own forehead. Oh yeah, I brought Lu Xiu back. Having said that, Lu Xu took out Lu Xiu's corpse which he had obtained from the Seal of Lands and placed it carefully in front of Nia Ting. Nia Ting was dumbfounded. And here you are, insisting that you do not have invisible storage equipment? Can you please put in more effort in embellishing your lie, please? Do you purposely want to piss me off? From Nia Ting's distress, plus 666. Nia Ting saluted to Lu Xiao and walked out with a darkened expression. Tell him that I will ask someone to bury Lu Xiao. It was Nia Ting's real concern that he might not be able to hold his urge of beating Lu Xiao up if he were to stay any longer. As a matter of fact, the Twelve Spears had already reminded Nia Ting that there must have been missed details in the Beimang remains. On their way back, he recalled all the reports related to Lu Xu and the quantity of items surrendered by this young man. The twelve spears were almost identical to those in the Beimang remains, meaning Lu Xu had had invisible storage equipment since then. Therefore, the answer was apparent. The seal of lands was in Lu Xu's hands. Actually Nye Ting did not mind. Instead, he was happy, for it saved him the trouble of getting invisible storage equipment for Lu Xu himself. It was a must-have for the Heavenly King in charge of foreign affairs. Due to the rarity of invisible storage equipment, even a rich and large organization like the Heavenly Network could not ensure that each and every Heavenly King could be equipped with that precious item. Now, Lu Xu must be rewarded duly for him to assume the new responsibility. But since he already had it, the trouble could be saved. Soon, a group came to bury Lu Xiu. Every one of them solemnly saluted to Lu Xiu before they carried him away. Lu Xu watched from the side, speechless. He thought Lu Xiu was worthy of their respect. Lu Xu articulated, that time, Lu Xiu boosted his combat abilities temporarily by exhausting his vitality. Before he died, he killed nine class C's of the collection of gods, which bought me precious time. Without him, I would not have been able to kill Takashima Tairatsu. Sure Xue Jin listened from the side without a word. Earlier, Lu Xu refused to answer Nye Ting's question seriously, which caused the truth of the battle to remain a mystery. But now, unexpectedly, Lu Xu had spoken about it himself. Sure Xue Jin remembered the nine words he wrote for Lu Xu. A heart of gold, and a fist of iron. At the moment, there were traces of grief glimmering in Lu Xu's eyes as he narrated his act of murder. Sure Xue Jin was shocked that Lu Xu had really killed Takashima. How did he overcome their huge gap in abilities? Nye Ting once told Sure Xue Jin that Lu Xu was probably upping his level during the battle and he might even create heavenly visions when he reached Class B, though this could only span a 3-kilometer radius, unlike Class A's who could cover a 10-kilometer radius. Even so, it was still enough to earn Sher Shua Jin's astonishment. He himself was traversing a road untraveled, valiantly hacking through thorns and thistles. Similarly, Lu Xu had chosen another untraveled road, and he had surpassed Sher Shua Jin in terms of his progress. But sure Xue Jin held no grudges for that. There were countless ways to success in this world, and he only had to focus on the one he chose. Sure Xue Jin smiled. Why are you willing to tell the truth now? If I don't, Lu Xiu's heroic act would remain unknown. It is only justice that the name Takashima Tairatsu appears in the most prominent military credit carved on Lu Xiu's tombstone. If he did not reveal the truth to the world, who would know Lu Xiu's extraordinary courage and spirit in that moment of time? 
His fearlessness, even when sandwiched between more than 10 elites and a pseudo-class A, deserved to be remembered. In comparison, Lu Xu felt that his own personal interest in hiding the matter was insignificant. Shi Xuejin was relieved that Nye Ting's hard work finally paid off, though it would have been even better if Lu Xiao were still alive. Many warriors lived in depressed lives on foreign lands, shouldering immense risks all the time for the protection of their country. It was sure Xu Jin's sincere hope that they could return home safely. Some might criticize him for being a hypocrite. After all, it was he who had sent them out. Why didn't he call them back if he was seriously concerned about their personal safety? However, like Tanaguchi Bandai once said, there were some things in the world that must be done. Sure Shua Jin watched in silence as Lu Xiu's coffin was carried away. He suddenly uttered, I know it may sound a bit abrupt, but it is time to let you know. The ninth heavenly king's position has always remained vacant. Lu Xu went quiet. He had not seen it coming. But suddenly, everything started to make sense. Nia Ting had assigned him important missions on multiple occasions. Intelligence agents lurking deep inside the collection of gods worked solely for him and his gut feeling also told him that his trip to Japan actually meant more than it seemed. It turned out that Nye Ting's expectations for him were actually the role of a heavenly king. Why me? Lu Xu asked. Lu Xiu never asked us why it was him, replied Shi Xu Ejin calmly. The higher the position, the greater the responsibility. I think I am not competent for this job yet. Lu Xu rejected. To him, the prestigious position meant much more than an international reputation. It was more of a heavy responsibility over the lives of tens of thousands of his comrades, including Lu Xiao. Every act of his would determine the life and death of many Lu Xios, and there would be numerous Lu Xios willing to sacrifice themselves for his vision. That was beyond what the current Lu Xu could take on. Thus, he rejected the offer. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know. Glass half full or empty. And we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens To tell us things that we better